in the Hindu culture, you know, say you're a conventional, traditional villager, you're on your way to work, and you pass a favorite zada, you toss him a few coins so he can stay free for you. Yeah. Why do hippies worship zadas? <laughs> oh, you can figure that out. So when the odd hippie, uh, the hashish hunter, wanders you up north from Chitralf, somehow gets over the Lori Pass, and uh, as far up as this kingdom of Mysterious, this remote Victorian uh, time or scene up here, uh, to the locals, they look like white zadus. Bizarre cultural mutants. Oh, the, the Mastujis, they never thought they'd see the day, yeah. But here they are, okay. Uh, Queen Latif goes totally native. The Victorian Palace, <laughs> her permanent residence. You know, harmonious days. Hello, bye. And uh, the appearances of the twins, uh, Sharif and Latif, become identical. Yeah, Sh Sharif grows his hair long to match his queen. And she takes to, uh, to, uh, <laughs> to uh, uh, rimming her eyes with coal. Fatima, you were supposed to set the props up before that we actually... Thank you for having your cousin send this over from Mazari Sharif. This is Cole. This is the real thing. And Fatima's been helping me learn how to... You know, not too much, huh? And right up in the corner? Go as far as the corner? Thank you. And she likes to, uh, uh, keep the coal safe. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Latif now rims his eyes with coal. <laughs> You're so cool, huh? And, uh, when they play mountain pole, this is the highest pole of ground on planet Earth, 1,200, 500 feet, Shandar Plateau. Um, well... It's wild, okay? It's every person for themselves. No teamwork at all. <laughs> you know? Often people broken bones. Um, or death. Sharif's brother died from a polo accident up here seven years ago. Well, they, so they, they wind their hair up in a beehive to keep it out of the, out of the way. I want the hair whipping across your eyes when you're whipping your horse, that frothing horse, to the goal, pegged goal line. And, oh, Sharif gives it to you this matching lapis lazuli hair clip. See what I mean? Just, just, well. And, uh, you know, they cause uh, cheerful giggles from my kids. Uh, uh, they're amused. Uh, Tongues wag, oh, oh, wag good naturedly uh, about the inseparable and uh, spiritually radiant king and queen, twins, brothers, lovers. Well, they got it all going on, huh? Oh yeah, Castro in San Francisco, he Gerard out, huh? We got twenty kinds of sexual connections in in, in, in in a couple here. Oh yeah, the kids giggle up in Kashgar uh, and um, the amused smiles of those centenarians up in Hunza, those apricot munching freaks up there. Uh. Um, so for their fabulous wedding coronation, they're getting married and. She's getting cor coronated. The same spectacle. Sharif gives his lover the most cherished family heirloom memento ever. Yeah, his uh, great grandfather. Oh, you heard about him, Al Al Muk Aman. Huh? Yeah, we're talking 1842. He he he, he retrieved off a dead British soldier. 
with his face down in the flint, don't eat flint, at least become vegan. Uh, yeah, dead British soldier, and uh, yeah, Khyber Pass, 1842, okay? Fatima, you're supposed to set this up. <laughs> okay? You're supposed to keep the illusion of uh, storytelling. You look so good, absolutely naked, huh? You couldn't do this in Afghanistan. I'll show, you make a cameo appearance before we're done, okay? Naked. <laughs> yeah, uh, remember that the second Afghan-British War, 1842? Remember I told you all about it? The Afghans slaughtered 15,999 British. Every single last one. Well, except one. Okay, one soldier somehow straggled into Peshawar, the south exit of the Khyber Pass, slumped over his horse. He still has a rifle there. Um, they just shut the fucker. So that their tribal historians could just round the whole, whole thing up to 16,000 British bloodbath. Is it to remember, okay? Yeah, this exquisite coronation ceremony to honor, oh, the first gay marriage between brothers in the history of the North France frontier, okay? Cinematic. <laughs> romantic. <laughs> yeah, romantic. Oh, uh, golden moments. Flow by. Well, it's not hard in this pristine uh, Himalayan environment. When the uh, stray hashish hunters, oh, they've heard about assassins. They're starting to come up. We're talking 1968 now, okay? Uh, yeah, one after another from Western civilization, they wander north and somehow they find Mustaj and Yarkon Valley, loaded with, you know. 18-foot plants, primo, yeah. And the natives cheerfully, and uh, uh, they, they usher uh, their uh, uh, Queen Latif, their middleman, a uh, uh, middling, middling chick woman, uh, whom both parties, I oh, they trust and admire. Uh, oh, the sultry queen's free lane, free range chick. Muscular horse gripping goddess warrior legs <laughs> become a hashish dealer's fantasy. Horny kingpins of hashish in Europe and America. They all want to do her. Well, and Fix is the first in. You're yeah, hot charismatic embodiment of East meets well Fox socks East East sucks West and swallows it completely <clears throat> yeah mm -hmm. the teeth's got to do a whole new facial every morning Mm. She's so devoted. Mm. She gets down on her knees for the king. Mm -hmm. 